How did Selena Gomez get from this to this? Yep, recently a lot of people on the internet have been commenting on Selena's apparent weight gain, leaving thousands curious as to what's been going on with the singer and actress. Comments got so out of hand that the young artist did a live on TikTok explaining that there is one medication that she is taking that is responsible for this situation. I tend to hold a lot of water weight and that happens very normally. In this video, we'll try to solve the mystery of which specific medication is causing all these changes in Selena's appearance. And also, we will briefly discuss the disease behind all this, which is causing the need for this drug to begin with. Okay. Well, we know that Selena Gomez has been open about her struggle with lupus for the past few years. Huh? Lupus is an autoimmune disease, and by autoimmune, that just basically means that the immune cells in our bodies, aka the cells that normally defend our body against bacteria and viruses, immune, go crazy and start attacking the body's own tissues and organs, auto. And due to the fact that these immune cells are working overtime, they end up producing a state of inflammation throughout the entire body. In Selena's case, the immune cells specifically attacked her kidneys, which ended up having her require a kidney transplant in 2017, which, interestingly enough, was donated by her best friend. Now, we could make an entire video about lupus, but for now, let's focus more on the medication behind Selena's change in appearance. The treatment for lupus generally consists of three components. The first and most obvious one is that we need to suppress the activity of the immune cells which are attacking the body. This is accomplished by using immunosuppressants like methotrexate or a relatively new class of drugs called biologics. Sounds fancy. In second place, we have to reduce the levels of inflammation in the body. This is accomplished with prednisone, and also hydroxychloroquine. And yes, that is the same drug that is also used to treat malaria. And thirdly, we have to avoid any triggers that might encourage the immune cells to go crazy. <laughs> for example, for many people, sunlight could make the situation worse and end up causing a rash that classically appears on the nose and the cheeks, which apparently makes the person look like a wolf. Yes, in fact, the name lupus stems from the word which means wolf in Latin. Okay, going back to the topic of the video, one of the drugs that we've already discussed, which Selena probably takes, has several side effects if used long term. Among these side effects are weight gain, fluid retention, and changes in body fat distribution. Specifically, a classic manifestation of this drug is when the person develops a rounded face, which sometimes is referred to as moon face. Now, if you want to guess the name of this drug, pause the video now and let me know in the comments below. Okay. I would say that the medicine that is causing the apparent weight gain in Selena is called prednisone. Yes, as we have discussed, prednisone is a type of steroid that is frequently used to reduce inflammation in the body. And it is used in many conditions other than lupus. In fact, it's very likely that you have already taken it as well. But it is important to remember that these side effects only occur if the drug is used long term and that they are reversible when you stop taking them. And then when I'm off of it, I tend to, to kind of lose weight. Really, guys? <laughs> And just another thing I want to make very clear is that this type of steroid, which I'm referring to, is actually called corticosteroid. And that has nothing to do with the anabolic steroids that make people look muscular. Oh no! And that's all folks. Remember that there are many other medical reasons that could cause an apparent weight gain in addition to eating more food. What? So we always have to remind ourselves to be careful and respectful when addressing these issues. We are wishing Selena many blessings and strength on this medical journey, which most certainly is not easy. And as always folks, until next time.